Kevin is up next. I honestly, I really don't know why I squeezed this much ink out of the tube when I started. That was a, not a good idea. <laughs> I was just stoked to get a lot of printing done today. It's less ink now than it was when I started. So you've probably seen me do this in a bunch of my, basically in all of my printing videos. And what I'm doing is, I think it's called working the ink. At least that's what I learned it to be called when I was in school. And when the ink sits in the tube, just like peanut butter sitting in a jar, the binder for the pigment and, um, yeah, the pigment and the binder start to kind of separate a bit. Um, and also since I just emptied out this tube, I might try to squeeze a bit more out of there, but since I emptied it out, there are actually a lot of little dry kind of coagulated chunks of uh, ink in there because I think I squeezed out some that maybe sat by itself in the tube. I'm working it to warm up the ink and it, it didn't come out super like separated but if you just try to just spread it and then roll it, it you're gonna find like weird little chunks and uneven spots. And whenever I find gooey chunks I'll dig them out of the ink which you saw me do at the beginning of this when I was first working out the ink. And at the beginning there was so much ink it was kind of hard to work out. Ah, it looks good enough. All right, all right. So I'll try to squish it all into one spot. Smear a bit. And then I try to scoop it back up with this and I'll lay the ink spatula over it so that less of the ink is exposed to the air and doesn't dry up while it's sitting there. Again, I'm probably going to start with a less is more approach. I like it looks a little less like there's trash bags sitting outside of a cabin in the woods. That's one of those little gooey bits I was talking about. You don't want these in there because they could get onto your block and cause some problems. They'll just show up as like a little splotch, but if they get stuck to your block, then they'll collect ink and they could get into the smaller details and clog up something. So you want to get those out of there, which now I have a bunch of ink all over me.
This came out basically perfect. <laughs> that rarely happens. I have another problem I've run into. I have 20 more prints to make and I'm running out of room to hang up prints to dry. I think I'm gonna try and squish everything together and hopefully I can squeeze in 20 more. I made some more room and I think I can print all 20 of them. Only thing is I have to try and beat the sunset. <laughs> it's already rainy and cloudy outside so there's not a lot of sunlight in here. Cat is up next. Looks pretty good. First print, it's a bit salty because I didn't want to ink up the block too dark because I didn't want to lose the fur 
details on the face. So with this, I think I can go a little bit darker on my next roll. That one's a lot better. I think it's just gonna be salty up here, but I kept a lot of the details in the face. So I ended up just scrapping my ink because I wasn't quite printing the way I wanted to. I'm gonna start over without washing this block. I think that other ink just sat out for way too long while I was printing and recording everything else. This ink has way less of those goo balls in them. Finally on the last block to print. I got super lucky and the sun actually came out around 2 p.m., 2.30, it got brighter. lot that was a lot of printing I started at started printing at like 10 a.m. and it is almost 5 p.m. I feel completely drained I like how they all turned out the cat print was definitely the most emotional print of the bunch <laughs> it was getting really frustrating because I couldn't get the block inked up enough without filling in some of the details on the head and I had issues with the ink. Now that I have spent I don't know how many hours, seven hours printing, I don't know if I want to make any of these into a reductive print. All right, that is it for this video. I hope it was fun watching me print all of those blocks and finally getting to see the final product for each one. My feet hurt, my knees hurt, my back hurts. <laughs> I'm really hungry because I didn't take a break to eat at all. I'm starving now, so this is where I'm going to end the video. Thank you for watching. If you could, give the video a thumbs up.
that helps me out. And also subscribe if you haven't done so already. And then leave me a comment. I really want to know everyone's favorite block or favorite print. So the, I, oh, I want to say either the cabin or the Joe's Valley one is my favorite. I like them for different reasons. Anyways, let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. And I will see you next time with some new projects. <laughs> it's like finish a project, start new projects. That's my mindset. I'm not getting burned out. Not at all. What's burnout? <laughs>